Hello, so today I wanted to just talk briefly about traditional flint and steel. Uh, you might be able to see in the background here or even indeed here, it's absolutely bucket in there down today. So um, take a little bit of shelter basically in underneath our outdoor classroom. So this flint and steel, uh, I do often hear people refer to this as a fire steel. Um, in my mind that's a, that's a different uh, method of lighting a fire. This I tend to refer to as a traditional flint and steel. So I've got the, the piece of steel here, I've got the piece of flint here. Uh, I'm right handed so I'm holding the, the steel in my right hand and I'm going to hold a bit of flint in my, in my left. Now, when it comes to using them, and this is a, a fairly typical kind of designed uh, fire steel, when it comes to holding them, I do typically hold them like this. And then, what I can do, if I just turn a little bit there and pull my food back, what I tend to do is get the movement like this, so I, it's more wrist action. What I find is if I do this, so I'm bringing it more from the elbow, I just kind of knock the edge off the flint that much quicker, whereas this, kind of gives a glancing blow uh, and it retains the edge uh, for that much longer. Which brings me on to a really important point. With your piece of flint it has to have a sharp edge. Uh, so just have a little look at your stone, carefully use your thumb there to, to find that sharp edge. The reason we need a sharp edge is because what actually happens here as I do sort of this kind of motion we're going to, we actually shave off a little piece of the metal here and as it shaves off it heats up it oxidizes and it creates that orange spark so often people think the spark is coming from the piece of flint that is not the case it comes from this and it's the sharp edge that allows you to shear off that piece of metal so if i just um, demonstrate i've got a um, i got a sharp edge just along there so I'm going to slightly tilt the piece of stone because I want to get an angle between the edge on this and the, and the, and the steel and it's a, about a 45 degree or so angle so I'm just doing this motion and there we are lots of sparks coming off I'm not hitting this particularly hard often people think that it's a kind of a crush the two things together but again all you'll do with that is take the edge off your piece of stone off your piece of flint so it's a much more subtle action. So I'm just going like this. That's it. What you may see there is that mostly the sparks are going upwards. So what I can do uh, is hold these things so I will change them around in my hands and I can instead of keeping the flint still and moving the steel I can keep the steel still and move the, the bit of flint instead so now what I can do is this kind of motion and you can see hopefully that the sparks are now going downwards so this gives me a, some options basically uh, my preferred method, um, I must say, is to um, hold my bit of tinder on the, the top. So let me just demonstrate with some char cloth. Um, I have some here in this pot. So I'm just going to take a square of it, like so. And I'm just going to hold it on top of my stone there, like so. case of waiting until the spark lands onto our piece of charcoal. So with that I could then pop that into a tinder bundle and um, blow that up into a flame and use it to light my fire. As I said the alternative would be to place the charcoal or maybe if you had your a tin of um, charred punk wood that kind of thing then that can go down like so and then we're just going to drop our sparks um, onto the piece of charcoal. 
Oh, good. Off it goes, and similarly pop that into a Tinder bundle, and happy days. This is something that we teach you on our two-day bushcraft course, our five-day bushcraft course, the Institute for Outdoor Learning, bushcraft competency training, survival courses. So it's something that we cover on many of our courses. It's a it's a great technique to add to your fire lighting repertoire. Uh, so I hope you find it um, of some use. Thank you for watching the video guys and as always if you haven't so far then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks and goodbye.